Hello Archer and all of friends, May Flom here. You're in my studio and we are getting wild today. So what I have here, traveler notebook size, funny enough, I actually laid out all the sizes of Archer and all of notebooks that I have and looked at the items I was trying to use because this is, we're gonna call it travel manifesting or we're gonna call it travel dreaming. These are going to be the places for me to store pictures, words, notes of my own, thoughts about traveling to places. So history, things to do, foods they're known for. We're not going to get into specifics like when I would go or what I specifically want, unless there's something like, hey, there's a really cool um, parade every year on this day, or there's a really cool festival at this time of year. That kind of stuff maybe I would note, but this isn't about planning a specific trip. This is about, for me, learning about places that I might want to travel, looking into places I could travel, is a huge boost to my mental health every time I do it. I used it a lot during lockdown in 2020, and I gathered so much information. However, what we have now is piles and stacks of information that... I can't actually access easily. I can't actually make sense of because it's just an explosion all over across some really thin paper notebooks that didn't work for me that as soon as I started working in them, I knew that was not going to be the solution to scribbled notes inside of guidebooks, lots and lots of notes inside of guidebooks to brochures or images that I printed off the internet. I mean, just all sorts of stuff all over the place. So, what we're doing in this video here today is I'm going to walk you through the system that I have come up with and how I'm setting this up. I'm going region by region or country by country. This would work for anywhere in the world and it's very flexible. So I'm not going to set up the pages in a way that has like a set format or like a lot of boxes or things to fill in because when I tend to do that, then I tend to either get kind of annoyed by them for myself. I'll feel kind of like, oh, well, it's either too much or not enough for that space. Or I'll just feel like, oh, well, I just don't even know what to put here. So I've got a printable and a blog post to share with you over on the Archer and All blog. There's links below the video. What I'm going to need for this, though, are two things. Number one, I do nothing without my Archer and All notepads. And this is a perfect example. Let's say I'm watching a travel show on a place. I can just be making my little notes of things or things of interest, things I want to keep on here and then be looking at it and either immediately transfer it into the proper place or tear the page out. Let's say it's not the time. Let's say I'm not working on um, what, whichever notebook that I've got. Tear out all of my info, slide it into the book. Now when I'm ready to work or want to work, it's here. It's waiting for me. As I mentioned before, this is something I've been working on for a long time in a general sense. Not the notebook, but just gathering information, getting things down. So the first thing I've been doing is going through my enormous box of photos and guidebooks and maps and all of this kind of stuff and determining what countries, what regions, what areas things are from and just kind of dividing them out so that I have a starting point because I obviously can't just do everything all at once. I'm going to have to pick and choose and start with a few simple things. And size-wise, I went through all of my virtual on all of notebooks and the Traveler Notebook for two reasons. Number one, the full width is eight and a half by 11. So if I was to print something out like a Word document, if I shifted it to be landscape oriented and two columns it would fit perfectly just both sides of the page and it feels more approachable to me when I started getting into the large sizes I felt more and more overwhelmed how am I going to fill all this space what if I don't have enough things to say or to fill all of this space and when I start to get that big notebook anxiety when I'm working on a project I'm always going to go smaller. I would always rather fill notebooks and have full, beautiful notebooks that I have had a lot of fun with than have the large size be off-putting or send me away from a project. And if you've watched my videos, you know I do plenty of things with the large 
size, I just kind of try to listen to myself when I'm saying, well, gee, you know, this size doesn't quite work. And the more I dug into this, the better it worked. Most of the guidebooks I have are, in fact, traveler notebook size. And of course, my notepad from Archer and Olive that you see me writing on here is traveler notebook size. So everything kind of flowed together to fit. And that's where that choice comes from. Now, what you're seeing me do here is work on this thing. So there's a lot of stuff that I can do. There's a lot of stuff you can do. I'm starting with Belgium because, and Germany, but Belgium's the one that I started committing to in the book because it's a small country. There's several areas we very much would like to visit. So I know it's actually feels useful to me because I feel like someday we will go there. And I'm just starting to use, for example, this is from a cruise brochure. It's of Bruges, and I was able to just cut it and put it across two pages. And I'm just finding all kinds of things that I have. Maps. And I'm feeling this out as I go. There's not a wrong answer here. So some of these towns or areas, maybe there's not a lot of history or a lot of background. Maybe it's like there's just this really cool food to eat or this thing, one thing to do. It's okay if some of those are one page. This is a place that I've been told over and over and I could see myself wanting to spend a week. So I'm taking a little more time with this. And some of my very old guidebooks and things, if there are pieces that make sense to save myself the work of retyping what they said. And it's an old outdated guidebook, so it's really not useful anymore anyway. I will just pull those out and put those in. I will also be utilizing a lot of post-it notes which is great because that is a supply I have too much of and need to use more of. So I will write myself notes, things that I want to have go here, things that I'm saving space for so that as I work, if I bounce around within this notebook, I don't have to worry about how that's going to work. I can save space with the sticky notes and they're all popping out the side there, as you can see, so that as I move along, I've got these spaces for these things. And when I'm inspired to work on something in particular, I know where to go with that. And you see me here, we're just going through one of my traveler notebook sized guidebooks and finding the orientation and the history is so good that I just wanna cut and paste it. So why not? There are so many things that we can do to make things easier on ourselves or make things more fun. For me, this entire project is a joyful thing. It's dreaming and hoping for the days I can travel to all these wonderful places. And the point of the book is to provide myself my own custom guidebook. And that's something I try to keep in mind here is that I'm not planning for a specific date or a specific trip with this. This is a dreamer's book, right? This is, and there's going to be a whole series of these because there's no way I can fit everything into one. This is going to be dreamer's books full of places I'd like to see, things I'd like to do so that when the opportunity comes up, when I'm able to select some new places to visit, I can refer to this book or series of books and I'm going to be able to see all of the resources, all of the fun things to do. So my husband and I are going to be able to pick based on what is appealing to us at that time of life with what we want to do or what we want to see or the kinds of experiences we want to have. I'm going to have so much information laid out that's customized to us. That's also given me hours and hours and weeks and days and months and however long of joy putting it together. And you know I can get out my Archer and Olive washi tapes like I am here to cover up. Um, it has the years on there and I don't want the years to show. So I picked out this beautiful washi tape and just going to put some of it here. And I can add whatever it might be. It's almost like a scrapbook, except that these are not my memories. These are my hopes and dreams for future travel. I wonder if I've inspired you. I wonder if you've ever done something like this or thought about this. I wonder if you have ever watched travel shows or read about travel and used it just to kind of boost your mental health or make you feel good. Might I do a version of these, of this, if I knew I was going to a place or had things all laid out in a certain way? I might. What I have found in the past, though, is if I know I'm going to a place, I like to set it up with all of the, I like to set up all of the information I need, all of the, usually, honestly, 
Excel spreadsheets or Word documents that have all of the must information very, very condensed, and I bring that and an empty book. But you know what? I'm always changing, and the more I play with the more notebooks, and the more I do, especially here with Archer and Olive, the more possibilities there are, and the more I am open to them. So I would love to hear from you if you do any sort of uh, travel dreaming or manifesting in your notebooks, or if there's something else, maybe you're watching this and you said, oh, I just thought of an idea for you, share it. I would love to hear it. We would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time.